All right, so in today's video, I'm going to be using the Sirwin Vega CV2800 to blow out these speakers just here. If you're wondering what we have, we have a Technics Superwoofer. Now, a lot of people thought this was Panasonic or Sony or any other brand. The logo on the back of the box said it was Technics, so we have a Technics Superwoofer. We also have a Jamo subwoofer that is an 8 inch, that's a 6.5. We also have this LG 5.25 over here. And the mid bass, mid range driver that paired with the Jamo, as you can see, the styling is very, very similar. But we're going to be putting these on a CV2800 today and seeing how they cope with 2800 watts RMS. So if you're interested in that, stick around for this video because that's exactly what's going to happen. And with that being said, guys, let's hook up that little mid range speaker over there and see how it copes. All right, so I now have the mid base hooked up to the CV2800, the dust cap removed. Let's see how it handles some power. <laughs> And the correct answer is not very well. That didn't really put out a show at all. But now let's hook up the small LG woofer just over there and see how that thing copes. All right, so we now have the LG woofer hooked up, the dust cap removed. Let's crank some power through this one and see if we can get more of a smoke show out of this one. Let's crank it up. All right, and as we can see, we got a little bit of a smoke show and a bit of a spark. I was taking that one slower than I usually do, and it didn't really do much. So now we're going to hook up the super woofer over here in the back, and we'll see how that thing copes. All right, so I just removed the dust cap of the Technics woofer, and the cone underneath is blue, and that dust cap, the pole piece there is extremely deep. It's really rather weird, but we're going to crank some power through this one, and of course, see how this one goes, and if it puts out a huge smoke show. <laughs> You can see just there that the whole cone has pushed out and warped the entire cone. We didn't, again, didn't get a huge smoke show from this one, but still, I, it's the first time I reckon I've ever had a speaker push the whole cone assembly out just like that. Anyway, that was the Technic Superwoofer. Again, not a real big smoke show, although it is being really nice for my lungs today. Let's blow out the Jamo Woofer at the back there and see if that thing does anything more interesting. All right, so here we are with the Jamo Woofer. Now I've got hearing protection for this one. Partly because I'm expecting with no surround and just the style of this woofer, it's going to flap around a lot and bang extremely loud. So I'd rather be safe than sorry. So I'm going to put some hearing protection on and then let's crank some power through it. Again, we have a huge smoke show. The coil popped out, but there wasn't an extreme amount of smoke and fire like I expect with the normal Sony woofers. So there it is. Oh my God, that smells terrible. 
I'm now going to have a look inside of all these drivers, starting with the mid base and working our way back to this woofer again. Man, that stinks. If I'm not sure if the camera was picking it up, but that whole cone was flapping and warping the whole entire time that was moving. That was really, really funny to watch. All right, so I know I said I'd start with the mid base first, but funnily enough, I was just going to pull this out to have a look at the coil. And let's have a look at this cone, yeah? <laughs> It's completely detached from the basket and the coil. Anyway, let's start at the mid base, have a look at all the coils, and then that's gonna wrap it up for this video. All right, so here we are with the mid base woofer, or the little mid range. Let's have a look inside at the coil. And well, there's no coil attached at all. Look at that, sick blowout. All the coil is actually still in the basket and I'm not gonna be able to pull that out, so. That's the mid base driver, as we can see there, all the coil is completely separated. Now let's have a look inside the LG woofer over there. All right, here we go with the LG woofer. Let's try and pull this thing out of the basket. Okay, here we go. Wow, we can see the coil there is completely smoked up and separated off the back of the piece. We can see, I'm just pulling out current now. Let me, sorry, let me pull that back. Just pulling out literal amounts of voice coil from, oh, there's the rest of it, we can see. So, there's the LG woofer, tons of coil left over. And uh, anyway, that means now it's time for the Technics woofer. All right, so here we are with the Technics woofer. I noticed as well as the cone being bent, the actual coil was quite uh, bent as well. Wow, we must have snapped something because the coil is in basically brand new condition, so. Some wire somewhere must have snapped, which is quite unfortunate. I can't see anywhere obvious or where the coil would have snapped. I did see a big spark from this one, so I sort of assume something broke instead. But there's the coil. Hmm, pretty much a letdown, but anyway, let's have a look at the Jammo's coil now, if we can get that out of the enclosure. All right, so having a look at the Jammo coil reveals we have some separation in the middle there and a very, very small amount of coil on the back, but it is completely toasted. But anyway, that's been the blowout of all of these speakers. If you guys have enjoyed, make sure you do chuck a like on the video, subscribe to my channel down below if you haven't already, because I blow out speakers on here all the time and have a channel based entirely around speakers and uh, subwoofers and excursion and all sorts of other cool stuff. So with that being said, guys, I'll catch you in the next video. Let me know if you enjoyed this one in the comment section down below and I'll see you later.